Welcome to Tabibu Gallery. Today we have an exhibition called Beyond Burma and the aim of the exhibition is to show works by artists who want to, uh, to show us the changes that are happening in the country now uh, called Myanmar. And there are works by five artists from the country. The artists' names are San Min, uh, Pyo Chi, uh, Pyo Mon, Kong Su and Yen Chan Su. This exhibition is very timely. At the moment, international eyes are focused on the geographical space which uh, is known variously as Myanmar or Burma, uh, depending on your perspective, I suppose. Uh, and it's fitting that here in Bangkok we have an opportunity uh, to see how artists of this place are interpreting the changes that are happening in their country. So it's very appropriate that the exhibition is called Beyond Burma because we're waiting to see what comes uh, through this transition, what comes after this transition, when will the transition end. And these paintings and here and, and uh, other artworks uh, give us uh, a perspective uh, from a range of uh, Burmese artists, Myanmar artists, uh, who are themselves are trying to come to grips themselves with what's going on in their country, but also trying to uh, give us, uh, the observer, uh, an impression uh, of the uh, momentous changes uh, within, their, within their nation. Uh, and you can you detect through the exhibition, above all, I think, uncertainty. Nobody is confident uh, what the result will be. There's a lot of expectation, there's a lot of hope. But uh, I think in all the works, there's also uh, overshadowing them a sense of uncertainty. And uh, that's the uh, main impression, I think, that we uh, gather as we look at the various pieces uh, on display here. The reason I call it Beyond Burma is because today, people in that nation wish to be called Myanmar which was the original name of that country and of the people. Beyond Burma is actually a representation of what is happening on the ground and the artists' reaction and their voices in response to the social environment today. Main Chun Su, whose work we see here, lives in Yangon. He is a noted performance and multimedia artist. And as you can see the work, it's called, the body of work, he calls it Red Tape. And he has taken some very historical sites in Yangon, the Sule Pagoda, the old Anglican church across there, and other um, famous sites such as the Shwedagon Pagoda and he has taken the um, profiles of very ordinary people, young men uh, who do their monkhood, looking for work and hoping for a better future. But at the same time, we must remember that Myanmar is a country in a tr that is in transition, an economic and political transition. And as a result of that, the so-called red tape the, uh, that has existed in the past still exists. Because when I talk to artists, the uh, reaction is that nothing much has changed on the ground.
Essentially, Fuji works with animation, and um, his body of work deals with the life of Aung San Suu Kyi and her family. And this particular piece of work is a montage of her family background. His body of work is accompanied by a video work which details his feelings about the contradictions of her election. Human is one of Myanmar's leading women artists. She is also a pioneer of digital art in Myanmar. Essentially, her practice deals with uh, the farming communities in Myanmar and her, uh, her body of work for Beyond Burma is called Polite Wave, meaning requesting the current uh, political situation to take notice of the plight of farming communities in her country. Blackface is the name of the body of work by Kong Su. Kong Su's work is uh, collage, and uh, in this particular series of Blackface, he addresses the disparities that occurred during British colonial rule. And this particular, body, this particular work is when the convention regarding the separation of Burma from British India. While all the other artists in this exhibition, Beyond Burma, are noted mid-career artists, Sun Min is a very senior artist and a very profile painter. His work from the Gun series deals with the corruption and disparity in contemporary Myanmar society. My name is Pumon. I'm a visual artist from Myanmar and I appreciate to come here for my exhibition. Special thanks to Mr. John, Sabitbu Clary and special thanks to Ms. Shreen Nazari. I also thank their kind supporting. Hello, uh, my name is Kong Su, an uh, artist from Myanmar. Uh, this is uh, I present this uh, four works in this exhibition. Uh, especially uh, this is uh, is my long and ambitious series. Uh, the, the title of the series is uh, Blackface. Uh, I use uh, this series with uh, is our very uh, very serious historical photographs uh, with this series, and I combine this Blackface series with this uh, this photographs because. According to the exhibitions of this title, the title is, uh, as you know, uh, it's a Beyond Bomber. Yeah. yeah, it's my favorite series. I think this pictures here is a uh, uh, very interesting commentary on, on uh, Myanmar history from the perspective of the artist. So he, he, uh, he overpaints uh, historical photographs uh, related to, to Myanmar politics. 
Myanmar history. And I find it very expressive, especially like the, the like colors very much. I also like this uh, work very much, which is a pop art style uh, work about Amazon Tzu Chi and her, her family history. In particular, uh, her relationship with her father, General Aung San, who, who died when she was a little, little girl and who is still over, overshadowing uh, her whole uh, career. And Aung San Tzu Chi is, is, of course, the most uh, well known. Uh, figure from Myanmar and therefore she has a still a huge influence on the politics in Myanmar and on the perception of Myanmar and the outside world. Uh, so that's why I like this, this work.